TV Digital ist da. 14 Tage volles Programm. Top-Übersichtlichkeit im großen Format. Neu und einzigartig in Deutschland. Komplett mit allen Programmen von Kabel Digital. Really gotten to Boomer through the years that Dan won that game against Boomer and the Jets with the fake spike. I guess Boomer's upset a lot of people. <laughs> Here's Welker, and a flag is down. As Nugent cut off the angle, made no contact, but cut off the ankle. Personal foul, grasping the face mask, receiving team number 57 during return. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Keith Adams flag for that. Well, I kind of talked about it already. The Jets, I mean the Jets, the Miami Dolphins, they're, oh my gosh, just holding the face mask against Brad Smith, the wide receiver. But the Dolphins, penalties, that's a self-inflicted penalty. Just really no call to reach up like that, grab the face mask of the other player. Two penalties on the Miami special teams in the first five and a half minutes of this game. And that's Ronnie Brown with the Dolphins' first down carry. And this is the Dolphins' second possession of the game. Jim Nance and Phil Sims, for those of you just joining us, just underway here, the Jets with their first possession actually started near midfield and drove down, setting up a 33-yard field goal by Mike Nugent. And now the Dolphins have it for the second time. Harrington on that first series when they were three and out. A third down pass play tipped, falling incomplete. Getting his second start, the quarterback for Miami, the former Lion. And almost picked off. That's Kerry Rhodes who read it. We've got an update. Let's send it across the way to James Brown. Hey, Jim, Cincinnati Shane Graham, a 62-yard goal field goal attempt for the Bengals win with three seconds left. It is no good. Tampa Bay picks up its first victory of the season, 14-13 over the Bengals. Back to Jim and Phil. Wow. Thank you, JB. So the Bengals come out of the bye after a tough loss to New England going into the off week. And then lose the Bucks get their first win of the season. Third down here for the Dolphins. Third down and six. And the pass complete for the first. And that's rookie Derek Hagan for nine yards and a first down. Here at the New Jersey Meadowlands, the Dolphins have picked up their initial first down of the game. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims, some of you just joining us. The Jets, with their first possession, score their first points of the opening quarter this season. A 33-yard field goal by Mike Nugent. Sammy Morris into the Miami lineup on first down. It's Big Michael taking the pass and racing out across the 40 out of bounds at the 42. That one goes for 17. I look at this Miami offense and what they they started out trying to run the football and when you do that sometimes I know the Jets haven't stopped it but you're not running it very well it takes your offense out of rhythm it takes you out of what you do best and that is just mixing up the play calls last week they threw the ball a lot but I thought they did a tremendous job against the New England Patriots they just couldn't make that big play that led them to a score. Boy, little Wes Welker made a huge block on that last one on Dwayne Robertson. And this is Morris. Taking a swing pass out to about the 48-yard line. Sammy Morris. You know, Jim, this last play just illustrates one of the reasons why Nick Saban made the switch from Dante Culpepper to Joy Harrington. They want to go deep down the field. Play action fake. It's not there, and immediately he makes the decision, gets rid of the football, and they pick up seven to eight yards. And that's what he did against New England last week. Very tough to sack Joey Harrington. Gives the offensive line a lot of confidence, too. It's second down and three, and now Morris will run with it. But nowhere to go. Jets stack up the side. Eric Barton, the first to get to him. There he is, a loss of two. Again, Harrington getting his second start. 
The Dolphins the first four games of the season directed by Dante Culpepper who was their number three quarterback today. We had a long chat last night with Nick Saban about Culpepper and people think that he's out because of an injury and you know some confusion about that. He said he's not injured talking about Culpepper. He's not rehabbed. Right. His the, his knee which he hurt last year has hindered him from being the quarterback that they, they want to see him become. A pass to Chambers and it's intercepted. Chambers should have had it and that's one that will go against Harrington but it should have been a first down. Andre Dyson able to pull it in for the Jets who take over again near midfield. The quick release Chambers would have had the first. Jets take over. and talented Sid Zixero. Stop it. I'm the ball, dude. Catch all your sports news highlights and analysis daily on Score Tonight. Woo! What's he doing? I don't know. Check this out. 720. Ooh. For real. Count it. Watch the move. Oh. You're my boy, oh. Blue! <laughs> Score Tonight, up to three times daily, only on NASN. So you're right, Jake. Well, I don't think Mum's been acting a bit weird. I wouldn't worry about it, son. Only Actimel contains a good bacteria, LC Immunitas. Try it and see if you feel the difference. Mm, there none. As well as being a thirst-quenching soft drink, yes, right, Dave. a Sprite is also a sort of goblin. This Sprite is not so refreshing at a festival. And it definitely hasn't got any taste. Try new Sprite Z. Great Sprite taste, zero added sugar. Hi, I'm Paul Konerko of the Chicago White Sox. Watch live Major League Baseball all season long, right here on NASN, Europe's leading channel for North American sports. Cole Pepper to his left as the Jets get their first takeaway in 10 quarters. An interception by Andre Dyson. Washington net right away in the backfield. That is Jason Taylor that time beating up on Tabrikashaw Ferguson. Now, I think anytime you look at a guy like Jason Taylor, all pro, he's looking forward to getting to Brickishaw Ferguson young in his career before he learns the ropes and learns all the little things that defenses do. He went outside the first couple plays, that time he went inside. And that's Barbo lined up as a receiver. And the quick throw his way picks up five yards. But third down coming up for the Jets. Third and seven. You know, Jim, we're working our way towards in the NFL. There's just going to be no such thing as a huddle because so many teams just walk near the line of scrimmage and and just yell out the plays. They're not worried about the defense. Listen to what they're saying because they have so many ways to give these orders. The defense can't figure it out. Well, the Jets again operating quickly with their sugar huddle. And on the blitz, they get the pass away, but look at Taylor everywhere. Boy, Taylor makes two tackles for losses on this series. This one lost eight yards. Well, Nick Saban said, I need more for my defensive line. They're just not making enough big plays. And he mean, what he means by that, making sacks for losses, sacking the quarterback, getting in his face more, and making him throw Aaron passes. So Jason Taylor off to a terrific start. He loves playing in New York. Boy, he's had yeah, some uh, raucous right. affairs up here, not only in games. He was telling us last night about coming up here on vacation a few years back. Going up to Times Square and being uh, greeted, so to speak, by some Jets fans. Fair catch at the 22-yard line. Taylor with a huge series right there. Saban cheering on that defense. 
Jets lead it early, 3 0. Hi, I'm Mark Pryor, Chicago Cubs. Watch live Major League Baseball all season long right here on NASN, Europe's leading channel for North American sports. You're watching NASN, the North American Sports Network, a new and exciting sports channel dedicated to the best in live North American sports 24-7. On NASN, you can experience over 100 live NFL games this season, plus the playoffs and the Super Bowl Live. Watch up to 175 regular season NHL games and live postseason, including the Stanley Cup Finals. Feel the excitement of live Major League Baseball with up to 260 regular season games and exclusive coverage of the World Series. NASN also brings you an exclusive lineup of college sports with live college football and basketball. And with a daily lineup of sports news, talk shows, highlights and analysis, NASN is your channel for the very best in live North American sports. Visit NASN.com for scheduling news and information. And there's Jason Taylor already with a sack in this game and two other tackles behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, you were talking about it. He was in Times Square a couple years ago. He likes to talk to the fans in New York. It's all just good humor, good fun, and got a pretty good take on the Jets and Giants fans. <laughs> yeah. What, uh, what was his quote? He goes, let's see. There's a lot of suit wearers in New York. The nice, the decent people are Giant fans, <laughs> and the rest are Jet fans. So but one of the Jet fans are against these. First down, Harrington moving away from the heat, rifles it to Chambers, who lowers the shoulder and then gets knocked down at the 26. A gain of six, Drew Coleman the first to get to him. You know, Jim, go back to Joey Harrington, the interception he threw that hit Chris Chambers right in the chest and goes, goes for the interception. Last week he had one where he got pulled by the New England defense, but another time, uh, you know, it, it wasn't all his fault. And he made a lot of good decisions, a lot of good throws. And as I said earlier, he played well enough for them to win last week against the league. Inside did Ronnie Brown with some room. And up to the 45 yard line. He has not seen a lot of uh, open space this season, but that one a burst for 18. No, and what does it? It's the situation. Good blocking up front, burning carry. The tight end, Randy McMichael, got a good block that uh, allows Ronnie Brown to cut off the inside. And when you keep the defense guessing, and that's what the Dolphins did that time, that's how your running game gets opened up. It's not by just coming out and plowing straight ahead at them. The line up in the eye on first down, back to Brown. And again, a good run. And a yard shy of the first, Randy McMichael, helping that right side work for Ronnie Brown. Of course, the second overall selection in the 2005 draft. You see through his first 10 games of his career, averaged 73 yards a game, 45 yards rushing per game. The last 10. This season, Phil, he's managed 3.3 yards per carry. But we're seeing a different story here, particularly on this drive. Jimmy Morris, though, takes his space. And out for that first down, he's going to have it on the second effort. Rashad Moore had a clean hit on him, and a few words exchanged as well with a flag. Grasping the face mask, defense number 77, five-yard penalty, first down. You know, again, first quarter points coming in. The Jets and the Broncos, the only two teams not to score this season. Of course, the Jets with an early field goal on this one. But the Dolphins have not had a touchdown. Only a field goal through five games in the first quarter. And, you know, Denver Broncos, pretty high-powered offense over the years. 
No points for them. They've had trouble scoring two this year. Maybe won't tonight. We'll be hosting the Oakland Raiders. Big rivalry game. You yep. never know. You never can tell. Raiders always play well in that building. First down and Von Olhoffen saying, wait a minute. Hagen move first. Here's Kimo, the former Pittsburgh Steeler, won a ring last year. Encroachment, defense, number 67. Five yard penalty, first down. We look at Mangini. I mentioned the youngest coach. He's 35 years old. His oldest player is Von Olhoffen, who's 11 days younger than the coach. Well, it's always good to have more experience than the people you're coaching. <laughs> On Olhoffen thought that was pretty good too. You agree. From the 35, first and five with Morris, the running back. Chambers coming around. Leave it to him. Harrington had good time. Now fires right in the arms of the New York Jets, Victor Hobson. Now that was a bad decision. The pressure on the quarterback makes Joy Harrington throw it just a little bit before he's ready and right into the hands of Victor Hobson. You can't wrap them up against allergies, but you can treat almost every allergic reaction with Puritan. Puritan, for the family's allergies. TV Digital ist da. 14 Tage volles Programm. Top-Übersichtlichkeit im großen Format. Neu und einzigartig in Deutschland. Komplett mit allen Programmen von Kabel Digital Home. Plus ARD, RTL, Pro7 und Co. in einem Heft. Alle 31 Kabel Deutschland Programme mit Bewertung und allen Sendeterminen. Bestellen Sie jetzt Ihr Abo unter 0805 99 77 44. TV Digital. Das ist die Zukunft. Call and text your T-Mobile mates more, so you won't miss a thing. One great rate on pay-as-you-go. Mates rates from T-Mobile. Hi, I'm David Wright of the New York Mets. Watch live Major League Baseball all season long, right here on NASN, Europe's leading channel for North American sports. We're back over in New Jersey with Harrington. Two of his last three throws have been picked by the Jets. The Dolphins had only committed four turnovers through their first four games, but now they've got five committed in the last four quarters. And the Jets from their own 32 go with Barlow. And he works the middle with. Zach Thomas pulling away down at the ankles, gain of four. Randy Michael, McMichael's going to come across the field. Watch Joy here to the last second in the backfield. He feels the pressure of Brian Thomas coming, so he gets rid of the football, I think mainly to avoid the sack, and there's a fine line between getting rid of the football, avoiding the sack, and sometimes taking them. Usually it just takes experience until you know how to deal with both. Second down and six. They move Washington out of the backfield. Minnick's throw is too high. Trying to hit Coles. We've got an update again. Back to James in the studio. Hey, Jim and Phil, LaDainian Tomlinson just adding to his records here with this touchdown run, a five-yard version here. 84 career touchdown, surpassing Lance Allworth. 14-7, San Diego. Back to Jim and Phil. JB what a thrilling day it was in the one o'clock window if you will six of the eight games were decided by three points or less and three of the four winless teams on the year won, leaving only the Raiders who play tonight without a victory so far on the season Tennessee Detroit winning and Tampa winning Pennington's pass on third down short of the 
first. By about a yard. Coles with the catch. The fourth and one. I think there's been a couple surprises uh, in the for the Miami Dolphins this year. One is that they're one and four, but a, a really good surprise for them so far has been the coverage that their corners have put on wide receivers. They put a lot of pressure on them, a lot of man-to-man. -man. They like the blitz. They've come through so far. It's Ben Graham. It's a great looking pick. Back to Welker inside the 10. And he takes it out to the 16. 50-yard boot, 7-yard return. Another no touchdown first quarter for the Jets offense, but they lead. Coach. Ever wished you could be there to see your team in action? With Game On Holidays, you can combine that big match atmosphere with the holiday of a lifetime for the whole family. We offer city breaks and holidays, incorporating all U.S. sports, including NASCAR. All you have to do is visit our website and choose the games or races you want to see, and we'll do the rest. Great seats, great games, great value. Game on. From Detroit, Michigan, the Seahawks are set to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers in Super Bowl 40. Third and goal with the one. A bootleg left. And Ben dives for the goal line. It's a touchdown, Pittsburgh! And they hand it to Willie Parker. Finds a lane. It's on his way. Look at it. Football's 45 50. Willie Parker 40. 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. 75 yards. Zip. Play fair. Matt looks, lines on, throws to the right side, got a man wide open, touchdown, Jeremy Stevens. Steelers lead 14-10, the quick pitch, and here comes the reverse. Randall L has got a reverse, just wants to throw. He does down the far right side, he's got a man more wide open, touchdown, Pittsburgh, and that's your ball game. Punt three and out, and then two picks, but the Jets do not score any points off the turnovers. Miami at the 16 with Ronnie Brown. And a couple of good rushes on the last series that advanced into New York territory before the pass was picked, and Brown with the final play of the quarter. Out to the 22. That's the end of the quarter. 3 nothing Jets will return to the Meadowlands after these messages. You're watching the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 41. You can't wrap them up against allergies, but you can treat almost every allergic reaction with Puritan. Druid's Glen Golf Resort, voted European Golf Resort of the Year 2005. A golfer's paradise in the Garden of Ireland. Two championship golf courses of contrasting design. The luxurious Marriott Druid's Glen Hotel and Country Club, featuring 148 specially appointed guest rooms and a magnificent spa and health centre. Visit our driving range, pro shops, golf academy and get your golfing tips or tuition from our resident PGA teaching professional. You're watching NASN, the North American Sports Network, a new and exciting sports channel dedicated to the best in live North American sports 24-7. On NASN, you can experience over 100 live NFL games this season, plus the playoffs and the Super Bowl Live. Watch up to 175 regular season NHL games and live postseason, including the Stanley Cup Finals. Feel the excitement of live Major League Baseball with up to 260 regular season games and exclusive coverage of the World Series. NASN also brings you an exclusive lineup of college sports with live college football and basketball. And with a daily lineup of sports news, talk shows, highlights and analysis, NASN is your channel for the very best in live North American sports. Visit NASN.com for scheduling news information.
coming up the sprint halftime report JB Dan Shannon and Boomer all the latest scores and highlights on the sprint halftime report Jim Nance Bill Sims beginning the second quarter here the first quarter Ronnie Brown rushed for 44 yards more than he had all of last week against New England gets the handle again and he's near the first looks like he's going to have it this Jets defense we talked about it really struggling stopping the run they're 28th in the NFL and one of the big reasons well there's a couple reasons one they're switching over Eric Mangini brings in they play a 3-4 defense that changes the assignments for all the defensive linemen it's made it difficult for the linebackers we talked to Jonathan Vilma he says it's a whole different way of reacting to what you see from the other side so that's going to be there's going to be a learning curve here for the players and the coaches to put their guys in the best position to get good play from them. Play action here for Harrington on first down. It's Michael. And that'll be close to no gain. Justin Miller did not get the start, but comes in and makes the play. We've got another update. Back over to James. Hey, Jim, take a look at how Ben Roethlisberger got his first touchdown since the AFC Championship game against Denver. 47 yards to Nate Washington. 14-0 Pittsburgh. That start of the second. Back to Jim and Phil. All right, so the Steelers come out angry after that blown lead at San Diego last week. Coming in at one and three. Pressure on Damon Hewitt now to have to come from behind. And he's pressing down. That's going to be a flag and a personal foul against Kerry Rhodes. Foul. Press in the face mask. Defense, number 25. 15-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Kerry Rhodes, number 25, playing so well for the New York Jets this year. Probably the, the biggest bright spot on their defense so far but that is grabbing the face mask and pulling the receiver down when you do that personal foul 15 yards that puts it all the way out to the 46 for Harrington and the Dolphins He's under a small hole for about three yards you know talking to Joey Harrington last night and setting up this game he says it's really going in against the Jets it's about us we're not focused so much on them it's us with our attention to detail well I uh, what what he is really saying there too Jim is that they're they're doing a lot of good things when you watch the Miami Dolphins and you watch their games and their tapes you go boy it doesn't look like they should be one and four they put themselves in positions almost every game to win they can't make the big play when it counts Written down by Jonathan Velma in jet territory, third and two on the way. Talking about Harrington and how they've been their own worst enemy, and they already showed that really in the first quarter, particularly with that second interception when they were driving. But in his debut last week, there were some successful parts. You looked at that film from the New England game and you said, man, they're not that bad. No, I tell you, I was surprised when I started looking at this Miami Dolphins team and and it's like Nick Saban said. Third and two, toss Morris, and he's met right away by Brian Thomas. Brian Thomas, a defensive lineman, that's what he was when the Jets drafted him on the outside. But now they have him playing a little down, but also playing the linebacker position, a lot like Willie McGinnis did up in New England and that time it it played out very well tried to run to that left side remember they made that shift with McIntosh who was their left tackle last year shifting over today with Shelton moving the right guard There's no room on that left portion to work with Dwight runs away from it and that is an outstanding kick inside the five yard line by Donnie Jones 44 yards and down at the four by David Bowens. Jets are backed up, but lead 3 0. What's up? Hey, what's up? 
pretty glassy out here today, huh? Yeah, pretty calm. What's Jonathan Chichu doing out here? He's just here to remind you the hockey season started. Jonathan Chichu scores! Ever wished you could be there to see your team in action? With Game On Holidays, you can combine that big match atmosphere with the holiday of a lifetime for the whole family. We offer city breaks and holidays, incorporating all U.S. sports, including NASCAR. All you have to do is visit our website and choose the games or races you want to see, and we'll do the rest. Great seats, great games, great value. Game on! returns to NASN. And put a finish to that story about no offensive touchdown in the first quarter. That's now 20 consecutive games moving into record territory. Dubious honor belonging to Arizona back in 99 and 2023 consecutive games. But the Jets managed to field goal their first points of the year in the first stanza. And they moved the ball out of the goal line area from the four to the ten behind Kevin Barlow. You know, Barlow and Blaylock getting the bulk of the work early in the season, and those two managing very little on the ground. People are saying, well, what's going on? These guys barely averaging two yards a carry. But working with a young line. Last week, Leon Washington came in. The rookie got him 100 yards. There's Barbo. And the ball bouncing around. Barbo gets it back. Although the Dolphins disagree. All right, signal it still belongs to the Jets. Not only a recovery, but probably a first down. Good cut by, good block by Nick Mangold, the center. Wow, look at it's this Dan ball. Wilkerson, and the football does come flying out. It's a fumble recovery by Barlow, and the first down. Big first down, too. You're backed up. Get field position. That's the number one goal of an offense when they're backed up. Get a few first downs. Make the opponents go a long way with their touchdown or score. We'll run it again on first down with Barlow. Stacked up and moving the pile out to the 17. Blaylock, we got a flag on the end of this play. We're talking about Barlow and Blaylock and how little they managed to grind out early in the season. McCauley. Illegal use of hands to the face. Defense, number 52. Five-yard penalty, automatic, first down. Channing Crowder, number 52. He's on Nick Mangold. You can see he's got his hands into the face and drives him back. Kind of tough to see, but all you have to do is look at the head of the center, Nick Mangold. It goes flying straight back. Well, somebody's got a hold of that face mask. Cross over to Barlow. That looked awfully dangerous for a moment there. Will Allen. With the quick pounce. The running back situation for the Jets. They opened the year. Blaylock getting the first two starts. 25 carries, 44 yards. Lowest yards per carry in the league. But Barlow is second. Yep, a lot of reasons. You said it, Jim. Ex inexperienced offensive line. New coaches. And running backs trying to fit into the system. So Jets are a work in progress in a lot of areas. Second down, 13. Pennington steps up and incomplete. That was Sean Ryan, the target. 
Zach Thomas was all over him. I talked about it earlier. This Miami Dolphins team, they like to pressure you on offense. That's